your original hometown dealer, Saida, Trudeau, Chrysler, Jeep, Dodge, and Ram. Your entertainment report for this week, well, COVID-19 has kept many of us at home watching Netflix for quite some time now, longing for the return of entertainment to Nevada. The truth is, it's hard to judge when the shows and concerts will return. Right now, though, a big one. Scheduled for August is still on the books. Garth Brooks is still slated to perform at Allegiant Stadium on August 22nd. 65,000 tickets were sold in just over an hour on March 13th for the much-anticipated concert. But with cases of the virus continuing to increase, this show does still have the possibility of being rescheduled. So keep your fingers crossed. Well, attention boxing fans, did you see this one coming? Mike Tyson is jumping back into the ring. This eight-round exhibition fight is Tyson's first in 15 years. The heavyweight champion is set to face Roy Jones Jr. on September 12th at Dignity Health Sports Park in Carson, California. Tyson, 54, and Jones, 51, will likely be wearing larger gloves but no protective headgear. The fight will be available on pay-per-view and TMZ Sports will also produce a 10-part docuseries on both athletes as they prepare for the bout. And Taylor Swift fans, the 30-year-old singer has announced that she is releasing a new surprise album today. The album, titled Folklore, is the eighth studio album for the singer and features 16 songs and a bonus edition that includes a bonus track. Swift is also releasing a music video today for the track on the album called Cardigan. Swift was quoted as saying that the entire video shoot was overseen by a medical inspector. Everyone wore masks, stayed away from each other, and Swift did her own hair and makeup and her own styling for the video. Well, that is your entertainment report. In fact, that's your news for the week. We thank you so much for watching News 25 and hope that you have a very wonderful weekend. Stay safe.